Hello everyone, I am Wadu Sasanakash, SolidWorks student leader and also the SolidWorks champion from Bangladesh. And today we are going to learn about the SolidWorks sheet metal part. So SolidWorks uh, provide a comprehensive set of features for designing sheet metal part. A sheet metal part is a very specific type of solid metal. They have the characteristics of being thin work with rounded corners and wall thickness is constant throughout the mat model and bands are applied to create the finished geometry. In this tutorial, I will go over of the fundamentals of the working with the sheet metal functionality. Here I have a blank part open in SOLIDWORKS and the units are set to millimeters. To access the sheet metal tools, I will right click on the call manager tab and select the sheet metal to add the sheet metal tabs on the command manager. So there are few different methods for creating sheet metal parts. In this tutorial, I will use the plans method which uses the sheet metal tools to create the shape of the finished sheet metal part. So there are other design methods as well like um, converting solid to sheet metal uh, or designing for the flattened state using sketch bands for example. So you can see there are few icons are visible. One is plans or base plans and second is for so base plans is the first feature in a new sheet metal part. It is created from a single scale, just like a standard extrude or revolver. So to get started, I will start sketch on the front plane. And I want to mention that the sketch for the base plans can be single open profile or closed or multiple in closed profile. In this tutorial, I will use a symmetrical open profile to create sheet metal part. So now I am creating a sketch. Okay, this is fine. Now I am giving the dimensions. This is 60. This is 65. 30, 35, and this is a symmetric part, I am going to mirror this part, and now I am giving the final dimension of this. Sheet metal tab and select the base plans of the tab. So, the base plans is used to create the base feature for sheet metal like a stood box and it automatically use bands with specific bend radius. So, you can see here that you can manipulate the sheet metal like a stood box for me. I will use the mid plane and go to 400 millimeters for this. Okay. Now you will find sheet metal badges, or you have to specify uh, whether you like to use a sheet metal watch table or not. So these boss tables are a Microsoft Excel file that store properties and control things like boss thickness, allowable band radius, and um, k factors. Yes, the k factors. So for me, I am using the boss tables and selecting the sample still from the option. Now here, in the sheet metal parameters, you have to select the box parameter or the thickness. So I am using 
four and here you can change the radius see you can change the radius of the sheet metal part now here you can overwrite the thickness but uh, for me I will uncheck that and you can reverse the direction of the sheet metal and I want to create the sheet metal above the case slide. Yeah, this is perfect. Now here in the band allowance you will see there is bend table, k factor, bend allowance, bend deduction and bend calculation. So bend allowance option determines how the bend are calculated and will determine the flat length of the sheet metal stock needed to give you the desired dimension of the bend part. So for this I am going to select k factors and here you will find the auto release. This is the uh, for like you can start around edges that requires bend release that can be rectangular, tear and oblong. So I am and here in rectangular you will see that there is a relief ratio. What is relief ratio? The relief ratio is all about the thickness and the uh, relief ratio. Uh, it will, uh, if the, uh, here you can see the ratio is 0.5. So the cut will be half of the thickness. So for this I am using the tear and clicking OK for now. So here you can see couple of things have been changed. Solid bodies folder has been replaced with a cut list folder and there is a few items are added in feature stream like sheet metal. Here is a sheet metal feature and the gauss table feature and here you will find the base flange with sketches and bending. From the uh, sheet metal folder you will edit the feature of the sheet metal part on the brass plate you can edit the dimension or sketch from the from your part. So here you will see the one more option that is flat pattern that will automatically suppress and if you unsuppress that uh, if you select the flatten you will see the part will flatten for you see if I go back it will go to sheet metal part. So here is our first tutorial for sheet metal parts. If you have any question, please write in our comment box and please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much.